Right guys, Dan Stan's fishery today in Ashford. Doing an overnight here. There's me, Aaron and Frank. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, um you went stalking earlier today, didn't you? You didn't lost have one. Yeah. They're coming up for the bait but I just weren't hooking them. Yeah, we fishing zigs or just a uh, single uh, dog biscuit. Just a little bit of a dog biscuit, bit of a pop up. Yeah. Nah, nothing really. Yeah, but uh, we'll show the spots later. Um, it's getting dark now. Probably do one more vlog and then we'll update you in the morning. Show the rigs and uh, see you later, guys. See you later. Bye. Just had this little one. Not what I was after, but it's a fish in the end. Uh, I was taking on the XL baits, little wafter again, uh, but slip this one back. Yeah, it's really cold. Yeah, what's what's the time? Do you think one? Uh, yeah, about one ish, I'd say. Hmm. Yeah, getting back and uh, see you later, guys. This is the rig I had the fish on, same rig that I caught on at Frog Island. The only difference is that I have a white maggot on the end. Uh, KSG food source wafter, uh, size eight. Uh, fang twister, bit of shrink tube, bit of silicone, strip back end trap, all the way up to a one ounce lead, leg clip, quick link, uh, and called a cable leg core. Nice and uh, just said this broom, uh, pretty nice, pretty big, uh, still not what I'm after, but uh, this broom was on uh, Will's rod, uh, he didn't wake up for his rod, so I ran over to his swim and hit it. Uh, brought this on in. Little slab. Um, I'm sure, we'll show you the rig in the morning. Uh, and I'm gonna go get back into bed. I'm really tired. Uh, see you in the morning. This is the rig I had the bream on. Really simple. Got a carp company. 10 mil pop up, cut down. Uh, I've got a size 10. Fox SSBP, bit of silicon on the hook. Got a sh uh, for my end trap, soft end trap. Got a tiny, tiny bit stripped back in the shot there. Um, then all the way up about eight inches of end trap. Cause it's got a silty bottom, and just got a sleeve, and that went onto a quick link with a one ounce lead and a layer clip system. Really all right, uh, just had this little car, uh, on just a little hair rig. It's about two o'clock in the morning. Now. Yeah, about two o'clock. Yeah. So, yeah, slipping back. Yeah. Do some photos. Yeah, guys, it's about nine o'clock in the morning now. We only had bream in the night, that was it. Uh, Frank had a really nice comment about six pound, wasn't it? Yeah, nice one that was. Yeah, there's not many carp in here. They're all old fish, really nice. And Aaron's just... Had a couple of bleeps. Had a couple of bleeps. But yeah, really nice fish Frank had. He caught it on a homemade bait. It just had tipped off with a bit of a yellow pop-up. So that's really good confidence for him because he caught it on his own bait. So that's really good. And uh, get back to you later, hopefully with a fish or not any action. Been stalking me and Frank. You went stalking yesterday. Yeah. about that. Um, me, and, me and Frank went off stalking around the lake. Uh, saw a couple of commons. Dropped better than the nose. He went to take it, but I didn't have the right ring off with it. Uh, and then again, uh, changed over rigs. Another one went for it, but just mouthed it. Didn't get hooked. But yeah, yeah you wouldn't, ex you wouldn't expect them to be cruising around on the surface and, no. and pouring with rain all night. But yesterday they saw them on the surface when it was quite sunny. But today me and Frank went off at seven o'clock in the morning, and we were just seeing them cruising around on the surface. But you know, if we had our surface kit, but you don't expect to bring the surface kit in these conditions. So switch you later, guys. I'm gonna run you through my spots now. Right, my right hand rod. See those bushes? I've just cast over to that far bank, and then I've just dropped my rig in a foot off that bank. So that's my right hand rod. My left hand rod 
it's just you've got that sunken tree here like it's overhanging and then I've just got it right under that so on the right on this rod I've got a fake bit of corn and a fake maggot as the hair stop and then on the right hand rod on the right hand rod that's just there there I've got a wafter I think that's their XL wafter both rods have produced bream so far not that we want but hopefully we'll get some carp the left arm rod is in that little bay over there is that where you had the fish on? Um, no I, I've moved my left arm rod well, this morning from, from the little green rock to the bay where's yeah. your right arm rod? my right arm rod on the snags but in the little pocket bit that swim. Been loads of fish sitting in there, aren't there? You can see them all. Yeah. Yeah. I, that, so yep. Yeah. What? Stuff. What have you got in your right hand rod? Okay, I've got a little 10 mil CC more. Um, Northern special. Yeah, Northern special. That's one. And then on the left rod, I got exactly the same. Just wafting. So yeah. Have a little bag of pellets. All right, we'll show you our own spots. All right. Uh, come to the end of our session now. Uh, had four bream. Uh, two old Mills rod because he didn't wake up and two of mine. Uh, what'd you have, bro? Alright, well, well, I only had roach on the float. That was good fun. We didn't do any filming float fishing because of uh, the weather was quite bad, so I didn't want the camera getting too wet. But I uh, enjoyed that. Had a lo lovely rod and roach. Really nice, good fun while waiting for float. While we were waiting for like getting the take. Um, we got a nice little idea planned for when the season starts, the new season. We want to do a quest for a Thames 20, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, on the Thames, carp fishing. Um, that should be a good one. Should be a good watch. Yeah, that'll be really fun to film. Yeah, that'll be good fun, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, see you in the next week, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. So subscribe and like.